So today is going to be mostly voiceover. This turns out a lot of this stuff involves power tools, and power tools are super loud. So you get to hear me talking. Isn't that great? Hear me talking, watch my wife work. It's it's like being at her house. Just kidding, just kidding, that's a joke. If you're listening, please don't make me sleep on the couch. Sorry, wife. We have this giant hole in the floor, and uh, just to kind of see what we were up against, we were, we were testing various scale removal methods. This is just a, a wire wheel on a, on a drill. Didn't really work, but it also didn't really wreck anything. Oh, ripping off the carpet! Oh! <laughs> Dust! Oh. <laughs> oh, there you see it. Oh, there it is again. You know, check this out. See all this dust? Ew. I've never once vacuumed this thing out. Can you tell? Ah, oh. oh, close your mouth and nose. Oh, that's fine. I don't need to breathe for to live or anything. Just for temporarily. Who knows what that's going to cause you? Cancer? Thanks. You're really helping me calm down here. <laughs> I do need to remove this driver's seat. Yes, you do. Seriously, wiring. This is the heated seat. Oh, which is going to make this chair really complicated to move. Yeah, so is all this power junk. And the power junk. Despite being a 30-year-old man, it was it quite advanced. multi-way adjustable seats. And this one, this seat here, the driver's seat, mm -hmm. had this really interesting feature where when they installed this, mm -hmm. some idiot wired it up backwards, so all these are inverted. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> Ugh. Well, this floor looks pretty good. Just needs to be cleaned. And this part looks pretty gone. Minor, minor problem. This this will just give me tetanus in my foot. It'll be like a booster, like a booster shot while I'm driving. Every time I take my foot off the brake. Why? Do you plan to drive barefoot? You don't know me. Actually, you do know me. Never mind. Yes. Now I'm kind of attacking the underside. I, I went with different types of uh, different types of discs and cutting things and grinding things on the angle grinder. At this point, I was still pretty early in the process, so like kind of trying to be careful. Afraid sparks would light all of the shag carpeting on fire, and there, there's a lot of shag carpeting, a lot of that stuff. And if that is all flammable and it catches fire, that's that'll that'll burn for days. That's this is fuel galore. Of course, it might be asbestos. I don't know. Asbestos doesn't burn, so that that would be good and and bad and bad if it was full of asbestos. Probably not though. Drum sander usage number one million. Getting that crappy glue off the floor. It's glue. It glued the carpet down like it was going anywhere. So it gets goes through the glue and then the paint and then all the all the crap and gets to the, the nice, a nice surprisingly clean floor, except for the giant hole earlier. Nice surprisingly clean floor. So I decided since I had the whole thing up on jack stands, don't know if I mentioned that. It's up on jack stands, the whole thing. Uh, up off the ground. I decided to remove the wheels from the left side so I could kind of get an eye at what was ahead of me as far as rust inside. Uh, but it turns out these wheels, they did not want to come off. Those lug nuts were, were, were stuck. I imagine whatever shop changed my brakes years ago, the, the rear drums, they probably used uh, full power ugga dugga mode on the, on, the, on the impact gun there and got them ultra tight and then all the salt rusted them solid. So uh, that that was fun. These lug nuts, they claimed uh, a Harbor Freight breaker bar, a... actually I think the breaker bar is going to... no, no, it also claimed a half inch, half inch uh, uh, ratchet thingy. It broke. I was, I was reefing on it at one point uh, to see what would go first. Would, would the, the tool go first, or the lug nut, or my spine? And it turns out the tool went just before my spine did, uh, and, and the lug nut ne never did come off until much more, uh, much more impacting. I think right after this was actually when I hurt my spine for the first time, so this might have something to do with it. Hadn't made that connection until now. Hmm. Cool. Fairly new drums, even though they look kind of rusty. These were replaced five years ago, maybe. Had a drum, had a had a brake shoe explode when I was uh, heavy braking on the interstate. That was not fun. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. And more, more phrases that are not fun to utter. Frame looks good though. That leaf spring shackle dealy mount thingy is okay. That one, well, that one, we're, we're not going to talk about that one. This, this isn't looking real great. Look at that. No, that's... <coughs> passes the finger test. Don't know about the screwdriver test. Fails the ugly test. Hitch doesn't look too bad though. A lot of surface rust, but no scale that I can see. Here I'm kind of removing more rust 
Like there is, there is little patches of rust here and there. I think this particular one was a rust, uh, a, a chip, like a paint chip that I just kind of left. And then 15 years later, lo and behold, it rusted out. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of cycling through the different tools again. I was still being way careful. Like, if, if we catch up to date, if I would see this now, I would just say, oh, break out the power tools and just, like, needle scaler it off. The all-important screwdriver test, will the screwdriver punch through the, the rust? No, it did not. And bigger power tools. Turns out this didn't look so bad, but I think I'm still going to need to patch something there. A much worse looking hole at the back. This one chipped off much, much quicker. It also failed the screwdriver test, so uh, that, that was fun. And then I took off the door, the door panel, and then the door came off. Uh, if, if you hadn't noticed, I don't stick to a plan here. I'm just kind of digging away as whatever I feel like I'm doing. I, I get like spurts of time. I'll get five minutes to work on it, or I'll get three hours. So I'll kind of, uh, if I have five minutes, I'll do a five minute kind of job. I probably should come up with one of those giant pieces of cardboard I see everybody writing all their, their lists on. I have no lists. So I'm just kind of uh, haphazardly doing whatever I feel like. And I'm, I'm presenting this video in chronological order, so you get to see how my brain works. Also, over the course of this video, I lost uh, about 20 pounds from the first time I started recording to the last time I started recording. So I will magically lose weight. Turns out working on a van is the, the secret pill for weight loss. So if you want to lose some weight, uh, go, go to eBay or Craigslist, buy a rusty old van from the 80s. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, whatever. Whatever suits your fancy. You're Japanese, you know, if, if you like that. And then rip the thing apart. You will lose 20 pounds or your money back. Oh, the ripping apart a van is super fun. You should definitely try that. Now I don't have to walk around a door constantly with all this crap in the way that I pushed slightly. Pushing crap slightly. Better than actually cleaning. Oh, well, the hinges look kind of gross with the tar around it, but they don't look rotted out. So that's nice. So what happened here is you see that bolt there? That is a body mount. It goes from the floor down into like a subframe thing. The body has like a subframe. And then below that subframe through some bushings into the, the actual like ladder chassis of the truck. And uh, there's, there's a little recess there. And I think salt water and snow and ice and crap from my feet, my shoes pooled up in there and rotted it all out. I tell you what, that bolt is a major jerk. The floor wasn't just rusty, there's like a doubler plate underneath that, that's on top of the frame, the doubler. And then under that is like a, a hole with a like a support tube thing that the bolt goes through. And I just, eventually, I just cut the, the floor out and the doubler plate. Behold! That bolt. It's a, focus, it's a body mount that went through that hole. And it was rusted in. So, lots of struggle, I ended up cutting the head off, which was here. And wouldn't you know it, it wouldn't come out. Hammer, didn't work. Bigger hammer, didn't work. Filling everything full of WD-40 and using bigger hammer, didn't work. Using this as a hammer, finally worked. My back is slightly sore now, but the stupid thing came out. Suck that, Bolt. Oh! Oh jeez, out out. Thing fell on my head. And then because I haven't finished anything, I decided to also try taking out the window for no reason. Turns out taking out that thing where the, the shade just fell on me, yeah, I didn't have to take that out. I later put it back. It was getting a bit crowded in there, though, so I had to remove a bunch of crap. Because I, I had just been, like, unbolting big things and just throwing it inside. But when you want to work inside, you can't also use it as a shed. So I had to remove a bunch of carpeting. I ended up throwing a lot of junk on the roof to kind of get it out of the way. Fortunately, the garage door still opens. I, I didn't actually check that before I was done. Look at that! So much more room for activities! Still not a lot of room. And the window came out! It came out with only a lot of trouble. Only a few of the many, many screws stuck. Uh, but, I, but I did have help. For some reason, my wife has discovered her calling in life is ripping apart vans. She had, she had a lot of fun with this, I think, tearing things apart. It looks like the nut holds this bracket down over the seat. Look at these old lady cushions. When they were new, they weren't old lady cushions. They were middle-aged lady cushions. <laughs> But that was 30 years ago, so the lady got old. Was this your mom's choosing? I think my parents both specced everything out. And my dad even purchased this pinstripe fabric, like, elsewhere and took it to the custom van place. And they liked, brown, They huh? really liked brown back then. Bought this as an incomplete vehicle without seats or anything. So not just a normal panel van, it was a total 
incomplete vehicle. But the original color was brown, right? Yep. My dad used it as a work truck for some time, a few months while his other work van was getting fixed. So many memories in this van. Sadly, not the kind you're thinking. Nope. Well, check it out. This is the mechanism. You pull this, and then the whole thing comes forward ah. and lays down into a bed. Yes. Again, sadly, not what you're thinking. It was all good, belt. clean, PG-13 fun. Not totally clean. It's really dirty in here. Metaphorically clean. <laughs> Once upon a time, my parents folded it down into a bed when we were camping and we had a tent and our tent got rained out. And uh, when they folded it down into a bed and they wanted to sleep on it, they pushed the seatbelts through. And after that, they folded it back up into a couch, never got the seatbelts back. <laughs> and they didn't, and they stayed not back for 15 years until I had this in college and I found the seatbelts and uh, put them back in. So yeah, we were running no seatbelts in the back seat for most of my childhood. I kind of want to twist this to just move it over there. I don't think it'll fit there. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Aha, uh -huh. oh, that's what you're going to do. Yeah. Ah, now you can get to this wooden panel that you meant to get to. Yeah. Oh, check Whoop. it out. Check what out. More of the lava lamp. Oh, yeah. Now look at this. Even though no one was ever going to see this wheel well, they still carpeted it. Oh, no, this isn't a oh. plate. This is a chunk of, oh, this doesn't feel safe. This is a chunk of wood that the bench seat sat on. Huh. And then the bench seat frame was held down by the big, uh, huh. the big nuts going on here. You know, they really wanted privacy. Because, like, if this wasn't enough, they needed this. Ooh. And then Two there lights. Was, and there was, like, a, a lining one, too. This one, you know? It's all going in the dumpster. <laughs> Screw. Last one, I think. Last one. Oh, oh, they're very long. Yep. All right. And now... And now a bunch of crap has fallen out of there. Oh, yay! Yay! Leaving the van. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, dirty, dirty, dirty. Sealed in. Er, and then rusted in. Er, okay. Oh, no. Here comes the rust. Oh, oh it's, it's falling into my oh, shoe. Uh, so look at this insu yeah there's just there's just insulation stuffed in here and look at this first. rust yeah they just they just cut it and then they didn't they didn't finish it and we can yell all we want but it didn't start rusting for the first 20 years starting with a seam at this crease and then all the way right down here. terrible ooh there i i can't bend it off but it's all crunchy so that's very, very thick. I give new cars crap for having ridiculously thick walls that inhibits interior space. You know, I can see now. But this, this is cr I mean, it's huge enough that it doesn't matter. Tons of interior space. Just gonna rip it off then. Violence. So get a... ah, there rope. it goes. There's a screw hidden in the dirt. <laughs> Dead bug. Dirt. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Ripping up the carpet. Ah. Oh, getting hurt. There's carpet, foam, wooden planks to level out the floor. I wish I was stronger. I'm me a too. Weakling. You're stronger than me though. Oh, I wish you were stronger. Oh. <laughs> I could make you do it. Save me cheap scissors. One slight problem I see. What? It looks like three holes that I can see oh. through to the floor. Oh, where? To the ground, actually. This, this didn't come with seats, so I think they probably just drilled the holes. I can see the floor of the garage. Why would they drill those holes and then put the seats here? I don't know. Someone showed up to work drunk that day. And they're like, no one's going to know. But now we know. Now we know. It's nighttime. Showed you dark sky there, just in case you didn't believe me. We have the back out. Here it is. One side of the closet. This thing, by the way, solid oak. I, didn't, I thought it'd be plywood, but nope, solid oak. Now ready to take the wall off. Or, or maybe it's not ready to come off. No, I can do it. Yay! Oh. Woo! And there's the wall. All right. That wall is one solid piece. One big piece of fabric over one big piece of plywood. And I don't mean to alarm you, but when I was, when my elbow was pushing on here, I was unscrewing stuff. Uh huh. Ah. Hear that? Yes. Ah. Oh, oh, so it. this, this is going to be rotten. That'll be fun. Look at how big that rear fender thing is. The wheel well. 
You could fit like a drag slick under there. That's not good. That looks even worse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, floors aren't supposed to crunch. I mean, shag carpet, I suppose, if it was covered in some kind of unspeakable filth, that would make a crunch feeling. But this was not that. This was a very distinctive rust crunch feeling. So, to get a better look at that, I kind of tore up the carpet, and oh dear was that crappy underneath. My wife decided she wanted to try fixing or something with a hammer. I don't know. She had a hammer, so I didn't ask questions. So yeah, that was not fun. That, that's not going to be fun to fix up in the future. So logically, after working on the back, the next thing yep. we should do is remove the wood dash. Right? Makes sense. I don't know if I should be happy or disturbed how much you love tearing things apart. Well, I also love building things. Okay, good. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm doing, so who knows what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm doing either, so that's not any worse. This is the problem with using three quarter inch thick oak, solid oak on everything. <gasps> oak splits. The radio, which used to go there, is now up there. That, by the way, that's going to be fun to remove. All of that. Here it comes! And revealing of the original dash! Got I mean, some like... wear marks all over and some big drill holes. Econo line! If I could get a mint factory dash, that would be great. Also, that would be impossible. You just love tearing things apart. I wanted to weld that. Finally getting to some fixing. I made a doubler doubler panel thing. I, I cleaned up uh, cleaned up the frame rails, got them nice shiny metal, painted them with this weld through kind of coating by 3M. I don't don't know if it's supposed to if it's gonna work as intended, but hey, it's better than nothing. I made a doubler panel, drilled some holes for some spot welds, rosette welds, I think they're called. When you have a hole and you try to make a, a weld, I'm not an expert. You know that already. Welding was fine, but I think that I think that spray coating really increases the spot. Matter. This is my observation. Then a nice grinding of it smooth. I might not care about the grinding, but I'm gonna stick another panel on top of this. Oh man, this this has gone on forever and I even have a bigger hole in the floor now. I gotta get working on this a lot quicker.